In this video, I'm going to talk about scaling of concrete and how to stop it. My name is Tyler Lay, and I make these videos so you can make the best concrete possible. I bet you've had this happen to you. You finished your concrete project. You're so proud of it. It's so beautiful. It's so amazing. And then winter sets in, it starts to get cold outside, starts to snow a little bit, some ice, and you're scared. You're worried that someone is going to slip on the concrete. And so what do you do? You, you pour down salts, de-icers, right? Sometimes people use things like rock salt to help melt the ice, make it so that the concrete isn't slippery. But then once the ice melts, it gets warmer outside, all of a sudden you realize that, that beautiful concrete project has these blemishes or scales on the surface. What's going on? Well, salt scaling is the damage to the top surface of concrete caused by a combination of de-icers and freezing. This is like a side view of a concrete slab. And what happens is that in scaling, you crack, you lose the surface. You lose this kind of top quarter of an inch or so off the top of the concrete. Now, that does not mean that the majority of the concrete is damaged. It just means the very, very, very surface has some issues, it doesn't look great, and you can lose some of your cover. That's the material between the top surface of your concrete and the top of your reinforcing steel. That's important material, helps protect the concrete, but that is the bad news about scaling. So how do you stop it? We use these two methods. The first one we're talking about is using a good air void system. When we make concrete, in freezing environments, it is common to use an air and training admixture. This is a soap that we add to the concrete that when, when we mix it up, it makes these really small, well-distributed bubbles. These two concretes are exactly the same in every single way, except the one on the left has 6.4% air in it, and the one on the right has a lot lower air content, about 3.8%. And you can see the one on the right is starting to scale but the one on the left looks amazing after 30 freezing and thawing cycles after being soaked in calcium chloride solution it's doing awesome here's a whole bunch more data on the x-axis we have air content on the y-axis we have the amount of material that we measured that came off the surface and as you can see if i have very low air contents i'm losing a whole lot of material this isn't good, I'm not happy about this. But as my air goes up, I'm losing less and less, and as my air gets enough, I'm basically not losing anything at all. If I can get above about 4% air in my concrete, that's where I wanna be. Now, not all air void systems are created equal, okay? but about 4% usually does a pretty good job. Now let's talk about producing a high quality surface of our concrete. And this is controlled by two things by finishing and curing, and we're gonna talk about finishing first. Finishing is where we make the concrete smooth and give it that beautiful, beautiful surface. There are companies that all they do is focusing on finishing concrete and making it beautiful. So one trick is you don't wanna to finish too early. What am I talking about? Well, once you pour concrete, over time, the water's gonna rise up and the aggregates and binder are gonna go to the bottom. This whole process is called bleeding. This bleeding creates a thin layer of water at the surface of the concrete. Is that a lake at a beautiful resort? No, that's a concrete slab with a thin layer of bleed water at the surface. And if you come back in and you finish that bleed water into the surface, that isn't good. You have to wait. You have to wait for it to either evaporate off or you to pull it off the surface. Because if you do finish it in, you'll get this very high water cement ratio concrete just at the surface. I've got some pictures of what that looks like. These red arrows are pointing to big water pockets that were formed inside the concrete. You can almost think of it as the surface where these water pockets are having a very high water cement ratio. And the area below the surface having a normal or lower water cement ratio. What does that mean? When freezing and thawing and scaling starts to happen, it's gonna happen right at the interface, right there. 
in between them. You also don't want to add water to the surface when you're finishing it. Now, this sometimes is something people do just by habit. They add water. They call it blessing the slab. They try. They think they can make it a nice creamy surface, but what they're doing is increasing the water to cement ratio at the surface and making their slab more susceptible to scaling. You also don't want to over finish the concrete. If you have people that aren't experienced in floating it and they work it over and over and over and over again, what they might not realize they're doing, if we look inside the concrete, this is a cross section, they might be removing the air bubbles just at the surface. What am I talking about? Well, if you look in the bulk of the concrete, all these little circles, those are air bubbles that are put there on purpose. Those are good bubbles that protect our concrete. But at the very, very surface, notice there's almost no air bubbles. They've been removed from too much finishing. So when you start to expose it to salts and freezing, crack, the surface is gonna come off. Also, it's not recommended to use a steel trowel on external slabs. Now, some people can do it. Some people can figure out how to make it happen, but you want to use them as late as possible in the finishing window, in the setting of concrete. Because what a steel trowel does is it actually makes a very, very low density layer. This is actually great for abrasion, but it's bad for scaling. Because what happens is that water and air gets trapped underneath this layer. And then again, once you have a freezing event and salts on top, it forms a crack. Another thing you, you want to do is you want to cure. You want to make sure you cure that surface of, of your concrete. Curing is keeping water inside the concrete to promote the reaction or the hydration. One example is using a curing compound, spraying on this, this pigment on the surface of the concrete. It's kind of like a paint, holds the water in. You could also use plastic to, again, seal the water inside the concrete. Or you could use wet cloth and then plastic on top of that. It's called wet curing. Again, to keep that surface of that concrete as wet as you can to promote hydration. If you don't properly cure the concrete, you'll get this kind of cracked or damaged region up at the surface and in the bulk, it looks great. So again, when you put salts on top and it starts to freeze, you'll get a crack. So some other tips. If you finish a concrete and then you get a freezing event in the first 28 days or so, those de-icer scaling can be extremely damaging. If you can wait to put de-icing salts on your concrete as long as possible, maybe even to delay the entire first winter, I know that's not always practical, but if you can, it does a whole lot of good to help your concrete resist scaling. So some other tips. If you don't have good construction practices, good finishing, good curing, you can cause your concrete to scale without any freezing or de-icing salts. So in conclusion, you can minimize scaling by using proper air contents, good finishing practices, and good curing practices, and so you can preserve these concrete projects for as long as you possibly can. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, think about clicking the bell to help stay in touch with me so you know when I release new videos. If you've had a scaling problem, please let, let me know about it. Leave me a comment below about what you think and if what I'm telling you makes sense or not. One easy way to find my videos is to go to my YouTube channel, click on the little icon over here and type in whatever term you want. And I probably have a video about it. If I don't, I want to know. Please send me a comment and let me know about that. Take care, everybody. Bye.